Hi, you're here sewing with Cody, and today we're working on the Burnett B77 and B79, and we're going to be converting the machine to do some free motion quilting. So first, let's start off with disengaging our dual feed and taking off the whole shank of our machine. So we'll loosen that screw and take this whole piece off. And we're going to put on foot RX, which came with the B77. So the way this goes on is this is just going to sit just like this. Let's see. So slide on in this position. Zoom in for you. So what it has is this little bar right here, which this is going to go above the needle screw. And this is going to sit right in that shank. So just like that. And then we'll screw this back on. So pretty simple. It does require your screwdriver. Now, just like with our Berninas, when we are doing free motion quilting or embroidery or a straight stitch, we like to put on our straight stitch plate. So let's take off our stitch plate and use that same screwdriver you use to remove the shank. Take this off and put this on. And you notice our machine recognized that we changed to a straight stitch plate, so it's basically telling us that we can't move our needle position, which is perfectly fine. So take that off. So now the next thing is we need to disengage our feed dogs. So to do that, I'm gonna take this off just so you can see, but you do not have to take the table off to be able to disengage your dual feed. But here is your dual feed. So when it's over to the right, your feed dogs are engaged. When it's over to the left, we've dropped our feed dogs. And we need to make sure we drop our feed dogs in order to do free motion quilting so we have nothing in the way. No feed dogs trying to move our fabric. So here I've got a simple little quilt sandwich. So when we are quilting, this isn't a video about quilting, but we might as well go over the few little things. Um, so we have our machine pretty much set up and ready to go for free motion quilting. We just use a regular straight stitch like we have selected. But some of the things you want to make sure you're using a quilting needle or I like to use a top stitch needle. Um, depending on what you're working with, I do, like on our Berninas and our Q20, our Bernina long arms, um, I do use a top stitch um, 9014 needle, something that's a little bit stronger because we are forcing fabric through and underneath the foot. Um, but like a quilting needle will work great. 8012 is probably the smallest I would go uh, with a needle when it comes to quilting. Now when it comes to thread, you can use whatever your heart desires when it comes to quilting. Um, I like to use isocord a lot, top and bottom, um, when it comes to free motion quilting. It's just a really pretty thread and it gives you such a pretty uh, outcome. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's get started. So what we'll do, whenever we start quilting, we always bring up our bobbin thread. So you can do that different ways. You can use your foot pedal, depending on how you have that back kick or that heel programmed. But because I don't know how it's set, it may be set to cut my thread. So let's just use our needle down button. So we'll bring it down and we'll bring it up. And to be honest, if we use our thread cutter, our bobbin thread might be a little too short. But here it is. So it took us two times, but we have our little bobbin thread. Because we use the automatic thread cutter, the bobbin thread is cut really short. So it can sometimes be difficult to pull it up, but we were able to get it. So now we have our bobbin thread and our top thread. So now we're ready to start. So what we're gonna do is gonna hold down our foot pedal and we have to control the speed of our foot pedal with the speed of our fabric. And I do like to have the needle stop in the down position. So whenever I do stop, it will stop down for me to secure my fabric. But it takes a little getting used to. But so now you can just go ahead and just start moving your fabric. The key is make sure you have the correct foot. 
Well, like I said, the video is more or less about setting up your machine for doing free motion quilting and not a video on free motion quilting. Because if we were actually doing free motion quilting, I would want quilting gloves, something to help grip the fabric. Because otherwise, it's just sliding all over the place and you can't grip it to help move. Um, but as for setting up your machine, this is that's what this video is about. Um, using the right foot, lowering your feed dog, the correct needle, uh, and make sure you have the correct stitch. Um, something else I would change um, is potentially right now the foot is set to hover when I lower my uh, have my needle stop down. There's really no need to have that hover up, um, but I do like to have my needle stop in the down position when I do stop because it just secures the fabric. So if you need to take a break, readjust, um, it doesn't slide on you, and then you you're no longer where you need to be. All right. Well, hopefully this helps. Um, when it comes to do start get, getting your machine set up for free motion quilting. One thing that I get a question that I do get a lot is what to set your stitch length to. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your stitch length is set to because your, your feed dogs are disengaged because they're the only thing that control your stitch length. Um, you are controlling everything from this point on on the brunette. Now, if you're working on a Bernina, well, we have the um, the BSR, the Brilliant Stitch Regulator. That's completely different. That allows you to tell the machine what you want your stitch length to be because the BSR, that Brilliant Stitch Regulator, it regulates your stitches. And that's found on most of our Bernina machines. But with the Burnettes, you have to control your stitch length. All right, well, hopefully that answers any of your questions again. Um, but happy sewing, happy quilting, um, and thanks.